I'm Mr Owen and uh, I'm Master in Charge of Cricket at Hill House School but also I'm very heavily involved in the rugby and was this year the under 15s rugby coach. My name's Chris Rose, I'm the Director of Rugby here at Hill House School and I joined the school in the summer of 2019. The quality of coaching is outstanding, like, you don't get this anywhere else. With the under 15s we created, me and Mr Rose, this environment where the pupils were enjoying their rugby uh, but also we were getting the basic skills in as well from Obviously me and Mr Rose being a rugby league background and thinking something that's very, very important that we could bring that to rugby union at the school and enable them to understand these skills and transition that into a game. So we've got Mr Owen, he's great. He like when we're down, he'll help us up. Mr Rose and Mr Owens have brought like their league background into the school. I've got an experience in both independent and state school. With my playing experience is exactly the same with the rugby union for Worcester Warriors under 18s and uh, then I transitioned to Rugby League in which me, myself, I learnt a lot in terms of the defensive structure of league, in terms of basic skills, in terms of your lines of running and I really incorporated that into my Rugby Union where I've come back here which is a Rugby Union school. And then we got Mr Rose who's just always cheerful, most supportive. Think we think of him as one of our own. Yeah, it's been a really good season. Um, we the two outstanding achievements have been the under 15s winning the uh, the NatWest National Ball, and also the under 16s winning the Yorkshire Cup. A huge part of that for me was to develop a culture of enjoyment around rugby. A season like this one is, is, is pretty special. To have the event that we did this year going down to London and actually that team winning 19 out of 20 games is not something that, that, that happens very often. The, the, the big accomplishment really is doing that with a year group that has something like 30 boys in it. And when you think that 20, 20 22 boys have been involved in that journey, I think that, that for me really does highlight the, the scale of the achievement and, and what we have done. It can only go up from here. I mean, in terms of the rugby we've seen this year, in terms of not just at the under 15s, but across all age groups, you can see how, not just the performances, but the enjoyment. We play other major sports as hockey and cricket, and getting that fine balance within a day's worth or a week's worth at Hill House is something we really want them to have that rounded experience. My favourite subject at school is probably biology. I just find it very interesting about how the body works. My favourite uh, subject is computer science. When I'm not playing rugby, uh, my favourite subject is history and I really enjoy learning about different aspects of history, especially the Middle Ages and in our local area. It really interests me. I have aspirations of being like an engineer one day or going into the field of robotics. It really interests me. When I'm not playing rugby, I enjoy doing maths and my favourite topic is algebra. My favourite subject is probably history. Uh, I'd love to be like a curator of a, a museum. That full-time whistle was a moment of absolute elation and I think anyone who, who saw us that day... Fumbled by Jake Collier. <whistles> and that is full-time. Hill House erupt in celebration. The bench empties. It is the biggest moment of those young men's rugby lives. It all came out really at that, uh, at that moment of the final whistle. Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. It was really, really good. We came through some obstacles um, to get to where we got, but uh, took it one step at a time. And um, in the end, it was really rewarding seeing the pupils themselves. Um, they were absolutely ecstatic. It's something they're never going to forget. Um, so that was the best part for me. But it was the culmination of uh, um, uh, the work of a wonderful group of people and players. I will not be taking a lot of time off. You know, we'll be we'll be working pretty hard in the in the coming months as we build up to to next year.